In the heart of the bustling city, amidst the towering buildings and bustling streets, resided Jake and Nora in their snug little apartments. Their love was like a warm hearth on a cold winter's night, enveloping them in a comfort and joy. Jake, with his easy smile and adventurous spirit, worked as a freelance photographer. His days were filled with capturing the city's essence through his lens, finding beauty in its chaos. Nora, a kind-hearted soul with a passion for literature, spent her days working as a librarian. She immersed herself in the world of words, guiding others through the vast corridors of knowledge that lined the shelves of her library. Their mornings began with the aroma of freshly brewed coffee wafting through their apartments, mingling with the soft sunlight streaming in through the window. Good morning, my love. Jake would greet Nora with a kiss on the forehead as she prepared breakfast. Good morning, Jake. Do you have any interesting shoots lined up for today? Nora would inquire, pouring them both a cup of steaming coffee and their conversations would carry on. Their evenings were filled with shared laughter and intimate conversations as they recounted the events of their day over a home-cooked meal. I met this fascinating old man today, Jake would say, his eyes lighting up with excitement. He had the most incredible stories to tell, each one more captivating than the last. Nora would listen with rapt attention, her eyes sparkling with interest. Oh, how I envy you sometimes, Jake. Meeting all these intriguing people and experiencing life through your lens. But amidst the hustle and bustle of city life, they always found time for each other. Whether it was a stroll through the park hand in hand, or simply curling up on the couch with a good book, their bond remained unbreakable. Jake was the epitome of a down-to-earth practical guy. He found joy in the simplest pleasures of life, like taking walks in the park, cooking dinner together, or watching the sunset from their balcony. His approach to life was grounded in realism, always considering practicalities and making responsible decisions. Nora, you know I love your adventurous spirit, Jake would say, a fond smile playing on his lips as he watched her excitement over some new idea or dream. But sometimes we need to focus on what's right in front of us, you know? The little moments we share are what truly matters. Nora, on the other hand, was a dreamer through and through. Her head was always in the clouds, her mind filled with visions of far-off lands and grand adventures. She found inspiration in the beauty of the world around her and was constantly seeking out new experiences and possibilities. But Jake, just imagine the places we could go, the things we could see, Nora would reply, her eyes sparkling with enthusiasm as she shared her latest flight or fancy. Life is meant to be lived to the fullest and I want us to embrace every opportunity that comes our way. Their differing personalities often led to playful debates and gentle teasing, but at the core of their relationship was a deep and abiding love that transcended their differences. You keep me grounded, Jake, Nora would say, her voice soft with affection as she snuggled up to him on the couch. But you also inspire me to reach for the stars. And you, Nora, you remind me to appreciate the beauty and wonder in the world, Jake would reply pressing a tender kiss to her forehead. Together, we're unstoppable. Their love was a beautiful balance of practicality and dreams, each complementing the other in ways that enriched their lives and strengthened their bond. As they navigated the highs and lows of life together, Jake and Nora knew that their differences were what made their love so extraordinary. As the years passed by in their cosy city apartments, Jake began to feel the pull of commitment growing stronger within him. He longed for a deeper connection with Nora, a bond that transcended their already profound love. One evening, as they sat on their balcony watching the city lights twinkle below, Jake broached the subject with a nervous smile. Nora, uh, I've been thinking, he began, his voice filled with uncertainty. 
I, I want us to take the next step in our relationship. I, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Will you marry me? Nora's heart skipped a beat as she looked into Jake's earnest eyes. While she cherished their relationship deeply, the thought of marriage stirred up a whirlwind of emotions within her. She had always valued her independence and the freedom to chart her course in life. I... I don't know, Jake, she replied softly, her gaze dropping to her hands. Marriage is a big commitment, and I'm not sure if I'm ready for it yet. Jake's heart sank at Nora's hesitance, but he respected her honesty. He reached out to take her hand, offering her reassurance. I understand, Nora. I don't want to rush you into anything, he said gently. But know that my love for you will never waver, whether we're married or not. In the days that followed, Jake gave Nora the space she needed to come to terms with the idea of marriage. He continued to shower her with love and affection, hoping that she would eventually feel ready to take the plunge. After much contemplation and soul-searching, Nora realised that her fear of commitment stemmed not from a lack of love for Jake, but from a fear of losing herself in the process. She came to understand that marriage wasn't about giving up her independence, but about sharing her life with someone she truly cherished. With a newfound sense of clarity, Nora finally decided to say yes to Jake's proposal, and as they sat together on their couch, their hearts filled with love and anticipation, they knew that their journey together was only just beginning. On a crisp autumn evening, with the city lights casting a magical glow around them, Jake led Nora to their favourite spot on the balcony overlooking the skyline. The air was tinged with excitement and anticipation as Jake took Nora's hand in his, his eyes shining with love. Nora, you are the light of my life, Jake began, his voice steady despite the flutter of nerves in his chest. Every moment with you is a treasure and I can't imagine spending my days without you by my side. Nora's heart swelled with emotion as she gazed into Jake's eyes, feeling the weight of his words wash over her like a warm embrace. Jake, you've brought so much joy and love into my life, she replied, her voice soft but resolute. You've shown me what it means to be truly loved, and I am grateful for every moment we've shared. Taking a deep breath, Jake lowered himself to one knee, his hands trembling ever so slightly as he produced a small velvet box from his pocket. Nora, will you make me the happiest man in the world and marry me? He asked, his voice barely above a whisper. Tears glistened in Nora's eyes as she watched Jake open the box to reveal a sparkling diamond ring, its brilliance reflecting the city's lights around them. Oh, Jake! She gasped, her heart overflowing with emotion. Yes! A thousand times yes, I want to spend the rest of my life with you! With tears of joy streaming down her cheeks, Nora threw her arms around Jake, pulling him close as they shared a tender embrace beneath the twinkling stars. And as they stood together, lost in the moment, and the promise of a future filled with love and adventure, they knew that their journey together was only just beginning. In the blissful aftermath of their enchanting proposal, Jake and Nora embarked on the journey of marriage with hearts brimming with love and anticipation. Their initial months as newlyweds were a whirlwind of joy, laughter and tender moments that strengthened the bond between them even further. Their cosy city apartments seemed to radiate with warmth and love, each corner filled with memories of their shared adventures and dreams for the future. They cherished the simple pleasures of married life, finding happiness in the everyday moments they shared. Mornings began with lazy cuddles beneath the soft sheets, the gentle light of dawn filtering through the curtains as they lingered in each other's embrace. Breakfasts were a leisurely affair with Jake flipping pancakes while Nora brewed their favourite coffee, the aroma filling the air with a sense of contentment. 
Their days were filled with shared experiences and discoveries as they explored the city hand in hand, savouring the beauty of each moment together. From strolls through the park to impromptu picnics by the river, every outing was a chance to deepen their connection and create cherished memories. Evenings were spent cocooned in each other's company, the soft glow of candlelight casting a romantic ambiance as they shared intimate conversations and dreams for the future. Whether they were curled up on the couch watching their favourite movie, or dancing in the living room to their favourite songs, their love only seemed to grow stronger with each passing day. And as they navigated the ups and downs of married life together, Jake and Nora found solace in the unwavering support and companionship they offered each other. They were each other's rock, weathering life's storms with grace and resilience, knowing that as long as they had each other, they could conquer anything. Their initial months of marriage were a testament to the power of love and commitment. A time filled with laughter, joy and endless possibilities. As they looked towards the future with hearts full of hope and excitement, Jake and Nora knew that their love would only continue to flourish with each passing day. As they embraced the early days of their marriage, Jake and Nora found themselves often exchanging sweet words that echoed the depth of their love. I never knew happiness could be so simple until I met you. Jake would whisper, his arms wrapped around Nora as they danced in the dimly lit living room. Nora would smile up at him, her eyes sparkling with affection. With you, every moment feels like a dream come true, she'd reply, resting her head against his chest. In the quiet moments before sleep, they would share their hopes and dreams for the future, their voices soft and filled with tenderness. Do you think we'll always be this happy? Nora would ask, her fingers tracing patterns on Jake's chest. Jake would pull her closer, pressing a kiss to her forehead. As long as we have each other, I believe we can weather any storm, he'd murmur, his words a promise of unwavering love. Their days were punctuated by playful banter and inside jokes, laughter ringing through their apartment like music. <laughs> Remember that time we got lost in the park and ended up having a picnic in the middle of nowhere? Jake would chuckle, his eyes alight with mischief. Nora would laugh long, shaking her head in mock exasperation. Oh, how could I forget? That was the day I realised you could turn any mishap into an adventure. She'd tease, her heart overflowing with love for the man who made every day feel like a celebration. As they navigated the highs and lows of married life together, Jake and Nora found comfort in the simple act of being together, their love a beacon of light in the darkness guiding them through the unknown. Despite Jake's best efforts to provide for Nora and shower her with love and care, there were times when Nora couldn't help but feel a pang of disappointment. Her heart was filled with dreams of travelling the world, of exploring exotic destinations hand in hand with Jake. But the reality of their financial constraints often left her feeling grounded. Nora was a dreamer at heart, her mind constantly wandering to far-off lands and romantic getaways. She would spend hours poring over travel magazines and browsing online for honeymoon destinations, her imaginations running wild with possibilities. When Jake would gently broach the subject of their honeymoon plans, Nora would offer a reassuring smile, assuring him that she was content with whatever he could afford. It's not about the destination, Jake, she would say, her words laced with sincerity. As long as I'm with you, I know we'll have the most magical honeymoon. And while she genuinely meant every word she said, deep down, Nora couldn't shake the feeling of longing that tugged at her heartstrings. She yearned for the chance to escape reality, if only for a little while, and immerse herself in the enchanting beauty of a foreign land. But she knew that voicing her desires would only add to Jake's burden, so she buried her disappointment deep within her heart, putting on a brave face for his sake. Yet, despite the efforts to conceal her true feelings, there were moments when Jake would catch a glimpse of the wistful look in her eyes, a silent plea for the dreams they had yet to fulfil together. 
As they continued to navigate the complexities of married life, Jake remained steadfast in his love and devotion to Nora, determined to some day give her the honeymoon of her dreams, even if it meant sacrificing his desires in the process. One day as Nora went about her duties at the library, she couldn't help but notice the sudden hush that fell over the room as a tall, handsome man entered. Richard's presence seemed to command attention effortlessly, drawing the gaze of everyone in the library as if a celebrity had just graced them with their presence. Nora's heart skipped a beat as she caught sight of Richard, her breath catching in her throat as the sight of his striking features and confident demeanour. There was something undeniably magnetic about him, an aura of charm and sophistication that set him apart from the crowd. Who is he? One of the librarian murmured to her colleague, casting a surreptitious glance in Richard's direction. He must be new in town. I've never seen him before. He's positively dreamy, another staff member whispered with a sigh, her eyes lingering on Richard's tall figure as he browsed through the shelves. It's like something out of a romance novel. The patrons of the library couldn't help but steal furtive glances at Richard as well, their curiosity piqued by his striking appearance and confident demeanour. Some whispered amongst themselves, speculating about his background and the reason for his visit to the library. I heard he's a famous author, one patron whispered excitedly to her friend, unable to contain her excitement at the prospect of being in the presence of a celebrity. Imagine meeting a real-life writer right here in our humble library. Others simply marvelled at Richard's undeniable charm and magnetism. Unable to tear their eyes away from him as he moved gracefully through the aisles, his presence casting a spell over the entire room. And amidst the whispers and speculation, Nora couldn't help but feel a sense of something new within her as she watched Richard captivate the attention of everyone in the library. Though she knew nothing about him beyond his outward appearance, there was something about him that sparked her curiosity and left her yearning to know more. On the other hand, Richard couldn't help but be captivated by Nora as he caught sight of her across the room. Her beauty was like a ray of sunshine amidst the sea of books, her gentle smile and kind eyes drawing him in with an irresistible pull. Their eyes met across the crowded library and, for a moment, time seemed to stand still as they held each other's gaze, a silent exchange passing between them that spoke volumes. In that fleeting moment, Nora felt a rush of emotions flood over her, curiosity, intrigue and a hint of something she couldn't quite place. Richard, too, felt a spark of connection ignite within him, a sense of recognition that left him yearning to know more about the mysterious librarian who had captured his attention. But despite the palpable chemistry between them, neither Nora nor Richard dared to speak a word. Instead, they let their eyes do the talking, exchanging glances filled with unspoken longing and curiosity as they went about their respective tasks in the library. As the day wore on, and Richard eventually left the library, the memory of their brief encounter lingered in the air like a tantalising promise of what could be. Though they had exchanged no words, the silent connection they shared left Nora and Richard both with a sense of anticipation and possibility, wondering what the future might hold. Richard was the epitome of charm and charisma, with a magnetic personality that drew people to him like moths to a flame. As a famous author, he exuded an aura of sophistication and allure, his name whispered in admiration by fans and admirers alike. With his rugged good looks and effortless charm, Richard had a way of making women swoon with just a smile, his silver-tongued words weaving a spell of enchantment that left them powerless to resist his advances. But beneath his suave exterior lurked a restless spirit, always in search of the next thrill, the next conquest. For Richard, love was a fleeting sensation, a fleeting flame that burnt bright and hot before fizzling out into nothingness. He thrived on the excitement of new romance, the rush of adrenaline that came with the chase, but when things grew serious, or complicated, he tended to disappear without a word, leaving behind a trail of broken hearts in his wake. To Richard, commitment was a foreign concept, a burden he was unwilling to bear. 
He was like a child lost in the thrill of the moment, chasing after whatever caught his fancy with reckless abandon, heedless of the consequences of his actions. And Nora, with her innocent charm and trusting nature, had been just another victim of Richard's fleeting affections. She had fallen for his charms, hook, lion and sinker, unaware of the true nature of the man she had allowed into her heart. As Richard's visits to the library became more frequent, Nora found herself drawn to his presence like a moth to a flame. Each time he entered the library, a flutter of anticipation stirred within her, and she couldn't help but steal glances in his direction as he immersed himself in his writing. Nora watched with quiet admiration as Richard diligently worked on his novel, his focus unwavering as he poured his heart and soul onto the pages before him. There was an intensity to his gaze, a sense of determination that spoke volumes about his commitment to his craft. In the quiet moments between shelving books and assistant patrons, Nora found herself drawn to Richard's side, a silent observer of his creative process. She marvelled at the way his fingers flew across the keyboard, each keystroke a testament to his talent and dedication. One day, as Richard took a break from his writing to stretch his legs, Nora mustered the courage to strike up a conversation. Hi there, she said, offering him a warm smile as she approached his table. I couldn't help but notice you've been coming here quite often lately. Are you working on something special? Richard looked up from his laptop, a small smile tugging at the corners of his lips as he met Nora's gaze. Yes, I am working on my next novel. He replied, his voice tinged with excitement. I find the atmosphere here quite inspiring. Nora nodded, her curiosity piqued. That's fascinating. Uh, what's it about, if you don't mind me asking? And with that simple question, a conversation blossomed between them, each exchanging a glimpse into the other's world. They spoke of literature, shared their favourite books and authors and discovered a shared passion for storytelling that bridged the gap between them. Soon, Nora and Richard's interactions grew more frequent, their conversations becoming a highlight of Nora's day. They exchanged smiles and laughter, sharing snippets of their lives and forging a connection that went beyond mere acquaintance. And amidst the quiet hum of the library, as the world outside faded away and time seemed to stand still, Nora found herself falling deeper under Richard's spell, her heart opening to the possibility of something more. As Nora found herself increasingly drawn to Richard's company, a sense of guilt began to gnaw at her conscience. She knew that her growing friendship with Richard was straying into dangerous territory, a path that could lead to betrayal and heartache. With each passing day, Nora's internal struggle intensified, she knew that she had to put a stop to their interactions, to distance herself from Richard before things went too far. She reminded herself of her commitment to Jake, of the love and loyalty she owed to her husband above all else. But despite her best intentions, Nora found it difficult to resist the pull of Richard's charm and the excitement of their shared conversations. She told herself that their interactions were harmless, that they were simply two people bonding over a shared passion of literature. Yet, deep down, Nora knew that she was deceiving herself. She knew that her growing feelings for Richard were a betrayal of her marriage vows, a breach of trust that threatened to tear apart the life she had built with Jake. In the quiet moments of reflection, Nora wrestled with her conscience, grappling with the weight of her guilt and the consequences of her actions. She knew that she had to make a choice, to put an end to her burgeoning friendship with Richard before it spiralled out of control. And so, with a heavy heart and a resolve born of determination, Nora made the difficult decision to distance herself from Richard, to put an end to their interactions before they could cause any further harm. On the other hand, Jake poured his heart and soul into his artwork, determined to provide for Nora and their future. His days became a blur of paintbrushes and canvases, each stroke a testament to his unwavering dedication. Jake would offer her a tired but grateful smile, his hands stained with paint as he paused to look at her. 
He would say with his voice filled with determination, I'm doing this for us, for our future together. Despite the long hours and the exhaustion that threatened to overwhelm him at times, Jake never lost sight of his goals. He took on part-time jobs to supplement his income, working tirelessly to ensure that Nora never wanted anything. There were days when Jake's absence weighed heavily on Nora's heart, the hours stretching into eternity as she longed for his comforting presence by her side, but she knew that every sacrifice he made was for their future, and she offered him unwavering support and encouragement in return. I miss you, Jake, she would say softly over the phone, her voice tinged with longing. But I understand why you're doing this, and I'm here for you every step of the way. Nora had always been captivated by the allure of luxury and glamour, her imagination filled with visions of opulent parties, designer clothes, and exotic vacations. From a young age, she had been drawn to the world of high society, devouring glossy magazines and daydreaming about a life filled with wealth and extravagance. As she grew older, Nora's fascination with the finer things in life only deepened. She found herself drawn to the elegance and sophistication of luxury brands, the sparkle of diamonds and the thrill of rubbing shoulders with the rich and famous. I've always dreamt of living a life of luxury, she would confess to Jake, her eyes shining with excitement as she painted a picture of the glamorous lifestyle she yearned for. To travel the world in style, to attend lavish events, to live in a grand mansion surrounded by beauty and elegance. Jake would listen with a fond smile, his love for Nora undiminished by her dreams of grandeur. I want nothing more than to give you the world, Nora, he'd say his voice filled with determination. Even if we can't afford all of those things right now, I promise to work hard to make your dreams come true. But as the realities of life set in and Jake's artistic career took shape, Nora soon realised that the life of luxury she had envisioned might not be within reach. Their modest apartment and simple lifestyle stood in stark contrast to the extravagant fantasy she had harboured for so long. Nora's heart skipped a beat as Richard approached her one day at the library, his presence stirring a mix of emotions within her. She had been avoiding him, trying to distance herself from the temptation that his company posed, but now he stood before her with an offer that she couldn't ignore. Nora, I've noticed that things have been a bit awkward between us lately, Richard began, his tone gentle as he met her gaze. And I want to apologise if I've made you uncomfortable in any way. Nora nodded, her cheeks flushing with embarrassment. It's okay, Richard. I appreciate your understanding, she replied, her voice tinged with relief. Richard hesitated for a moment before continuing, his expression earnest. I wanted to talk to you about something. I am in the process of adapting my novel into a film, and I couldn't help but think that you would be perfect for the lead role. Nora's eyes widened in surprise, her heart pounding in her chest at the unexpected offer. Me? In a movie? she exclaimed, her voice filled with disbelief. Richard nodded, a smile playing at the corners of his lips. Yes, you. I've been watching you, Nora, and I can see the potential in you. You have a natural beauty and grace that would translate perfectly to the screen. Plus, it would give you the recognition and financial stability that you deserve. Nora's mind raced with conflicting thoughts and emotions. The idea of staring in a movie was both thrilling and terrifying. A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that she never could have imagined. But as she looked into Richard's sincere eyes... A part of her couldn't shake the feeling that this was just another temptation, another distraction from the life she had committed to with Jake. I... I don't know what to say, Nora stammered, her mind whirling with uncertainty. It's such a generous offer, Richard, but I need some time to think about it. Richard nodded, understandingly, his expression and sympathetic. Of course, take all the time you need, but... Just know that I truly believe in you, Nora. And whatever decision you make, I'll support you 100%. With 
with those words hanging in the air between them. Nora was left to grapple with the weight of Richard's offer and the implications it held for her future. It was a choice that would test her loyalty to Jake and force her to confront the desires and dreams that lay buried deep within her heart. As Nora wrestled with the weight of Richard's offer, the conflict raging within her began to take its toll. She found herself consumed by worry and indecision, her mind spinning with the possibilities and consequences of accepting such a tempting opportunity. Despite her best efforts to hide her inner turmoil from Jake, he couldn't help but notice the change in her demeanour. She seemed distant and preoccupied, lost in a world of her thoughts and fears. One evening, as they sat together on the couch, Jake turned to Nora with concern etched on his face. Nora, is everything okay? He asked gently, his voice filled with genuine worry. You seem... Uh, different lately. Is there something on your mind? Nora's heart clenched at Jake's question, torn between her desire to confide in him and her fear of burdening him with her internal struggles. She opened her mouth to deny his concerns, to reassure him that everything was fine, but the words caught in her throat. Uh, I don't know, Jake. She finally admitted, her voice barely above a whisper. There's something I've been keeping from you. Something that's been weighing heavily on my mind. Jake reached out to take her hand, his touch a comforting anchor in the storm of emotion swirling within her. You can tell me anything, Nora, he said softly his eyes filled with love and understanding. I'm here for you, no matter what. And so, with a heavy heart and trembling hands, Nora finally confessed the truth to Jake. She told him about Richard's offer and the opportunity to star in his movie and the conflicting feelings it stirred within her. Jake listened in silence as Nora poured out her heart, his expression a mix of surprise, concern and unwavering support. When she had finished speaking, he wrapped her in a warm embrace, holding her close as she trembled with the weight of her confession. You should definitely go for it, honey, Jake responded. Nora's eyes sparked up with happiness and it felt like a burden had been lifted from her chest. She thought that Jake would be against it, but he showed her immense support. As Nora dove headfirst into the world of filmmaking with Richard, she found herself swept away by the excitement and glamour of it all. Each day brought new challenges and adventures, and she threw herself into her role with passion and dedication. But amidst the hustle and bustle of production, something unexpected began to stir between Nora and Richard. Their interactions grew more intimate, their conversations lingering a little longer than necessary, their laughter a little sweeter. At first, Nora brushed off the flutter of attraction she felt towards Richard, chalking it up to the excitement of working closely together on the film. But as the days turned into weeks and their bond deepened, she couldn't ignore the undeniable chemistry that crackled between them. And it wasn't long before Richard began to reveal his feelings for Nora, his words soft and hesitant as he confessed the depths of his emotions. Nora, I can't deny the way I feel about you, Richard would say, his voice filled with sincerity as he looked into her eyes. I know we shouldn't let our feelings get in the way of our work, but I can't help but be drawn to you. Nora's heart raced at Richard's confession, her feelings for him bubbling to the surface in a whirlwind of confusion and desire. She knew that she was betraying Jake by allowing herself to fall for another man, but the pull of her attraction to Richard was too strong to resist. And so as they continued to work side by side on the film, Nora and Richard found themselves teetering on the edge of a forbidden love, their hearts entangled in a web of passion and longing. But deep down, Nora knew that she couldn't continue down this path. She had committed to Jake a vow to honour and cherish their marriage above all else. And as much as she may have been tempted by the allure of her feelings for Richard, she knew that she had to put an end to their budding romance before it spiralled out of control. As Nora struggled to suppress her growing feelings for Richard, the strain began to show in her interactions with Jake. She found herself increasingly preoccupied with her work on the film, 
her thoughts constantly drifting to Richard even in the moments when she was with Jake. I feel like we've been drifting apart lately, Jake remarked one evening, his voice tinged with sadness as he watched Nora stare off into the distance, lost in her thoughts. Nora forced a smile, her heart heavy with guilt at the realisation that she was neglecting her husband. I'm sorry, Jake, she replied, her voice tinged with regret. I've just been busy with work lately, but I promise things will get better soon. But despite her assurances, Nora couldn't shake the feeling of unease that lingered in the air between them. She knew that she was failing Jake, failing their marriage, but she felt powerless to stop the downward spiral that threatened to tear them apart. I miss you, Nora, Jake confessed one night, his eyes searching hers for a glimmer of the woman he loved. It feels like we're living separate lives and it scares me. Nora's heart clenched at Jake's words, a pang of guilt coursing through her as she realised the extent of the pain she was causing him. I'm so sorry, Jake, she whispered, her voice choked with emotion. I promise I'll try harder. I'll make things right between us. But even as she made her vow to Jake, Nora knew that her feelings for Richard couldn't be ignored any longer. And as much as she wanted to salvage her marriage, she couldn't deny the pull of her heart towards another man, a pull that threatened to consume her completely. As Nora delved deeper into her collaboration with Richard, she found herself increasingly drawn to his charm and charisma. His easy smile and infectious enthusiasm for their project cast a spell over her, leaving her mesmerised by his presence. You're doing amazing work, Nora. Richard would say, his voice laced with admiration as he watched her perform on set. I knew from the moment I met you that you were meant for greatness. Nora's heart fluttered at Richard's praise, her cheeks flushing with pleasure at the validation she found in his words. She basked in the attention he showered upon her, relishing the feeling of being seen and appreciated in a way that she hadn't experienced in years. With each passing day, Nora found herself seeking out Richard's company, more and more, her thoughts consumed by him even in the moments when they were apart. I can't stop thinking about you, Nora, Richard would confess, his voice low and husky as he drew her into his arms. You were like a breath of fresh air in my life and I can't imagine what I would do without you. Nora's pulse quickened at Richard's words, her resolve weakening in the face of his undeniable charm. She knew that she was playing with fire, that her growing feelings for Richard could only lead to heartache and betrayal, but in the heat of the moment, she couldn't bring herself to resist the pull of their forbidden attraction. As she allowed herself to be swept away by Richard's embrace, Nora couldn't help but wonder if she was on the brink of a love affair that would change her life forever. As the demands of the film production took Richard, Nora and their team to various locations. Jake's apprehension grew with each passing day. He dreaded the thought of being separated from Nora, his heart heavy with the fear of losing her to the allure of her newfound passion. We'll be gone for a while, Jake, Nora remarked one evening, her tone casual as she packed her bags for the upcoming shoot. But it's all part of the process, you know? I promise I'll call you every chance I get. Jake's heart sank at Nora's words the reality of their impending separation weighing heavily on his mind. I know, Nora, he replied, his voice tinged with sadness, but I'll miss you more than you know. Nora offered him a sympathetic smile, her eyes clouded with a hint of impatience. It's just for a little while, Jake, she reassured him, her tone tinged with frustration. I need to focus on my career right now and... You need to trust me to do what's best for both of us. But Jake couldn't shake the feeling of unease that gnawed at him from within. He knew that Nora's passion for her work was genuine, but he couldn't help but feel as though he was losing her to a world that he didn't understand. I just don't want us to drift apart, Nora, Jake confessed, his voice filled with vulnerability. I love you more than anything, and I don't want anything to come between us. She replied softly, her voice thick with emotion. But I need to do this for me. 
and with those words hanging in the air between them, Nora turned away, her heart heavy with the weight of her conflicting emotions. She knew that she was hurting Jake, but she couldn't deny the pull of her passion and ambition, even at the risk of losing the love of her life. As the week stretched on and Nora remained away on her film shoot, Jake found himself consumed by worry and doubt. Despite Nora's assurances that she would call him whenever she could, her calls grew increasingly infrequent, leaving Jake feeling neglected and alone. One day, when Jake attempted to reach Nora yet again, his call was unexpectedly answered by Richard. A wave of apprehension washed over Jake as he heard Richard's voice on the other end of the line, his mind racing with questions and suspicions. Hello, Jake, Richard greeted him casually, his tone sending a shiver down Jake's spine. Nora's a bit tied up at the moment. Uh, can I take the message for her? Jake's heart pounded in his chest as he struggled to find the right words. Uh, yeah, he stammered, his voice betraying his unease. Just tell her I called, I guess. But as Jake hung up the phone, a nagging sense of doubt gnawed at him from within. He couldn't shake the feeling that something was amiss, that Nora's relationship with Richard was more than just professional. And so, with a heavy heart and a mind filled with uncertainty, Jake resolved to confront Nora about his suspicions. He knew that he couldn't go on living in ignorance, that he needed to know the truth no matter how painful it might be. Nora, we need to talk, Jake said firmly, his voice tinged with determination as he confronted her over the phone. I can't shake this feeling that something's going on between you and Richard and... I need to know the truth. Nora's silence, on the other end of the line, spoke volumes, confirming Jake's worst fears. As the truth of her betrayal washed over him, Jake felt his world shatter into a million pieces, his heart breaking with the realisation that the woman he loved had chosen another over him. I swear, Jake, you're just overthinking things, Nora insisted, her voice tinged with desperation as she attempted to reassure him. Richard is just a colleague, nothing more, you have to believe me. Jake's heart ached at Nora's words, torn between his love for her and the gnawing doubt that lingered in the back of his mind. I want to believe you, Nora, he replied softly, his voice heavy with uncertainty. But something doesn't feel right. I need to trust my instincts. Nora's eyes filled with tears as she pleaded with Jake to believe her, her heart breaking at the thought of losing him. Please, Jake, I love you, she cried, her voice trembling with emotion. I would never do anything to hurt you, you have to believe me. Jake felt a pang of guilt as he heard Nora's voice. I do believe you, Nora, he whispered. Oh, I'm sorry for doubting you. I love you too, more than anything in this world. As they held their phones in silence, the weight of Jake's suspicions lifted from his shoulders, replaced by a sense of relief and gratitude for the love they shared. But deep down, a seed of doubt remained, lingering in the depths of Jake's heart, whispering the truth that he dared not acknowledge. Nora was determined to keep her affair a secret from Jake because she did not want to be portrayed as a cheater. Therefore, she denied Jake every time he asked if something was going on between Richard and her. She went out of her way to put on a facade and act as if she was innocent. However, as Jake observed Nora's behaviour during her shoot, his suspicions only grew stronger. He couldn't shake the feeling that something was amiss, that Nora's constant absence and evasiveness were signs of a deeper issue. I just don't understand why you're never home anymore, Nora, Jake remarked one evening, his frustration evident in his voice as he watched Nora hastily pack her bags for yet another trip. It feels like you're always off somewhere and I hardly get to see you anymore. Nora offered him a tight-lipped smile, her eyes avoiding his gaze as she busied herself with her preparations. I've told you, Jake, it's all part of my job, she replied dismissively, her tone tinged with impatience. I have to be where the shoot takes me, you know that. But Jake couldn't shake the feeling that Nora was hiding something from him, that her busy schedule was just a convenient excuse to avoid spending time with him. He had noticed the subtle changes in her behaviour, 
the way she seemed distant and preoccupied whenever they were together, and it filled him with a sense of unease that he couldn't ignore. I just wish you would be honest with me, Nora, Jake confessed, his voice tinged with hurt. I can't help but feel like you're keeping something from me, and it's tearing me apart inside. Nora's eyes filled with tears at Jake's words, her heart breaking at the pain she was causing him. I'm not keeping anything from you, Jake, she insisted, her voice trembling with emotion. I love you and I would never do anything to hurt you. You have to believe me. But try as he might, Jake couldn't shake the feeling of doubt that lingered in the back of his mind. He knew that something wasn't right and he couldn't rest until he uncovered the truth behind Nora's mysterious behaviour. Lost in the whirlwind of her newfound passion and the allure of the glamorous world of filmmaking, Nora found herself consumed by a dream that seemed to grow more intoxicating each passing day. The thrill of meeting famous people, the excitement of being on set, it all felt like a fantasy come true, a world where she could escape the mundane realities of her life and live out her wildest dreams. But amidst the glitz and glamour, Nora carried a heavy burden, a secret that weighed heavily on her heart. She knew that her affair with Richard was wrong, that she was betraying Jake in the worst possible way. Yet, she couldn't bring herself to end it, couldn't bear the thought of giving up the intoxicating rush of emotions that Richard stirred within her. Can't let anyone find out about us, Richard, Nora would whisper in hushed tones whenever they stole moments alone together, her voice tinged with desperation. It would ruin everything, for both of us. Richard would nod in understanding, his desire to keep their affair under wraps mirroring Nora's. I know, Nora, he would reply softly, his voice filled with longing. But our love is worth fighting for. We'll find a way to make this work, no matter what. And so, as they danced on the edge of forbidden love, Nora and Richard kept their affair hidden from the world, their hearts bound together by a love that dared not speak its name. Nora knew that she was playing with fire and that the consequences of their actions could shatter the lives of everyone involved in ways she could scarcely imagine. And yet, she couldn't bring herself to walk away, couldn't resist the pull of the passion and desire that threatened to consume her completely. I need you here, Nora, Jake pleaded, his voice tinged with desperation as he watched Nora hastily pack her bags for yet another trip. I miss you. I miss us. Please, don't go. But Nora's resolve remained firm. She brushed off Jake's pleas with a forced smile. I have to do this, Jake, she replied curtly, her tone tinged with frustration. This film is my opportunity to make something of myself, to follow my dreams. You have to understand. Jake's heart sank at Nora's words, the hurt evident in his eyes as he struggled to make sense of the sudden distance. I do understand, Nora, he insisted his voice filled with anguish. But what about us? What about our marriage? Isn't that worth fighting for? But Nora's patience was wearing thin as she lashed out in frustration, her doubts and fears bubbling to the surface. You're trying to take my dream away from me, Jake! She exclaimed, her voice rising with emotion. I need to do this for my career, for myself. I can't let anything or anyone stand in my way. Jake's heart broke at Nora's accusation, his pain masked by a mask of disbelief. I'm not trying to take anything away from you, Nora, he replied softly, his voice tinged with sorrow. I just want us to be happy. Can't you see that? But Nora's determination remained unyielding as she stormed out of their home, leaving Jake alone with his thoughts and his shattered dreams. As she disappeared into the night, Jake couldn't help but wonder if their marriage was slipping through his fingers, lost to the winds of Nora's ambition and desire. As weeks turned into months, Jake found himself sinking deeper into a pit of loneliness and despair. Nora's absence weighed heavily on him, her once constant presence now a distant memory that seemed to fade with each passing day. I miss you, Nora. Jake would whisper into the empty silence of their home, his words falling on deaf ears as he longed for the sound of her voice, the warmth of her embrace. But Nora's calls grew increasingly infrequent, her excuses growing more flimsy with each passing day. 
And as Jake stared at his phone, winning the ring with her name flashing on the screen, he couldn't shake the feeling that something was wrong. She used to be so different, Jake would mutter to himself, his voice tinged with sadness as he reflected on the woman he had fallen in love with. She would never ignore me like this. There has to be something more going on. Jake couldn't make sense of Nora's sudden change in behaviour. It was as if she had disappeared from his life completely, leaving behind only memories of a love that seemed to slip further and further away with each passing day. And as Jake grappled with the emptiness that threatened to consume him, he couldn't help but wonder if he would ever see Nora again. If the woman he loved had been lost to him forever in the depths of ambitions and desire. One day, Jake watched the behind-the-scenes video of Nora's shoot, and his heart sank at the sight of her interactions with Richard. The way they looked at each other, and the intimacy in their gestures, it was clear to Jake that there was more than just friendship between them. Tears welled up in Jake's eyes as he realised the truth that he had been denying for so long. Nora's absence, her evasiveness, it all made sense now. She had been lying to him, betraying their marriage with her affair with Richard. The pain in Jake's heart was overwhelming as he struggled to come to terms with the betrayal of the woman he loved. He felt as though his world was crumbling around him, shattered into a million irreparable pieces by Nora's infidelity. I trusted you, Nora. Jake whispered to himself, his voice filled with disbelief and anguish. How could you do this to me? How could you throw away everything we had for him? But amidst the devastation and heartbreak, a flicker of anger ignited within Jake's chest. He refused to let Nora's betrayal define him, refused to let her actions destroy him completely. And so, with a heavy heart and a mind filled with resolve, Jake made the painful decision to confront Nora about her affair. He knew that their marriage was over, that there was no going back from this betrayal, but he needed closure, needed to hear the truth from Nora's lips before he could begin to heal. Jake wanted to confront Nora, but he knew that she would deny her affair of Richard and that she would never admit her mistake. Therefore, Jake went out of his way to devise a plan to make Nora admit her mistake and reveal her secret. With a heavy heart and a mind filled with determination, Jake set his plan in motion, knowing that he had to uncover the truth no matter the cost. He confided in his closest colleagues and family members, enlisting their help in orchestrating a scheme to make Nora admit her affair and reveal her secret. As Jake's colleagues and family members played their parts in the elaborate charade, spreading rumours of Jake's supposed accident and mourning his loss, Nora's facade began to crack. She was consumed by guilt and remorse, her heart heavy with the weight of her lies she had told and the secrets she had kept hidden. Jake orchestrated the final act of his plan, ensuring that a funeral was prepared in his honour. Friends, family and acquaintances gathered solemnly, their eyes filled with grief as they waited for Nora to arrive. As the minutes ticked by, tension hung thick in the air, anticipation mounting with each passing moment. Jake's heart raced with nervous energy, his mind filled with a mix of sadness and determination. When Nora heard the news of Jake's supposed demise, her heart shattered into a million pieces, tears streaming down her face as grief overwhelmed her, but amidst the anguish she couldn't ignore the unexpected sense of relief that watched over her. Guilty pleasure that whispered of freedom and release from the chains of her marriage. I'm so sorry, Jake. Nora whispered through her tears, her voice choking with emotion as she mourned the loss of the man she had once loved. But deep down, a part of her couldn't help but feel a flicker of excitement at the prospect of starting anew, of embracing a future free from the constraints of her past. And so, with a heavy heart and a mind filled with conflicting emotions, Nora decided to take Richard with her, knowing that their affair remained a secret hidden from the world. With Jake gone... Nothing was standing in their way, nothing to hold them back from pursuing the love that had blossomed between them in the shadows. But even as she made her plans for the future, Nora couldn't shake the ignoring feeling of guilt that tugged at her conscience, a reminder of the pain and betrayal she had inflicted upon Jake and the devastation she had wrought upon their marriage. 
and as she prepared to embark on a new chapter of her life with Richard by her side, Nora couldn't help but wonder if the happiness she sought would ever truly be hers, or if the ghosts of her past would continue to haunt her every step of the way. When, just as the gathering reached its peak, Nora arrived, her eyes widened with shock and disbelief as she took in the sombre scene before her. Nora's arrival at the funeral sent ripples of shock and disbelief through the sombre gathering. As she stepped into the room, her eyes widened in horror at the sight of the assembled mourners, their faces twisted with grief as they paid their respects to the supposed late husband. As Nora and Richard stood together amidst the sombre gathering at Jake's funeral, a tense silence fell over the room as all eyes turned to them. Nora's heart pounded in her chest as she felt the weight of her scrutiny her cheeks flushing with embarrassment at the thought of the truth behind their relationship being exposed. But to her surprise, the mourners maintained a facade of ignorance, their expressions carefully neutral, as they pretended not to recognise Richard standing beside Nora. It was a charade, a silent agreement to preserve the illusion of respectability in the face of Nora's betrayal. Nora felt a pang of guilt as she met the gaze of her friends and family. Their sympathetic looks, a stark reminder of the pain she had caused with her infidelity. But beneath the facade of grief, she sensed a flicker of judgement in their eyes, a silent condemnation of her actions and the choices she had made. And yet, despite the weight of their disapproval, Nora couldn't help but play the part of the grieving widow, her tears flowing freely as she mourned the loss of her beloved husband. She clung to Richard for support, his presence a comfort amid her sorrow, even as she knew that their love was tainted by the deception that had brought them together. But as she looked around at the mourners gathered before her, Nora couldn't shake the feeling that her facade was beginning to crumble, that the truth of her betrayal would soon come to light. As the funeral service began and the pastor's solemn word filled the air, Nora's heart pounded in her chest with a mixture of anxiety and guilt. She stole a glance at Richard, who stood beside her with a smug smile playing on his lips, unaware of the storm about to erupt. But just as the pastor's voice grew louder, a sudden commotion erupted from the crowd. Gasps and whispers spread like wildfire, and Nora's heart lurched in her chest as she turned to see what had caused the disturbance. There... Amid the mourners stood Jake, his eyes blazing with determination as he rose from his casket, defying death itself. Shock and disbelief washed over Nora as she watched her supposedly deceased husband stand before her, alive and well. A hush fell over the gathering as Jake stepped forward, his presence commanding the attention of everyone in the room. Nora's heart raced with fear and uncertainty as she met his gaze her mind racing with a thousand unanswered questions. But Jake's eyes only held determination as he addressed the assembled mourners, his voice steady despite the turmoil raging within him. I'm not dead, he declared, his words ringing out with a clarity that cut through the tension like a knife. And I have something to say. As the truth of Jake's deception unfolded before her, Nora felt a wave of guilt wash over her, her stomach churning with the weight of her betrayal, and as she stood beside Richard, her facade crumbling in the face of Jake's revelation, she knew that the time for lies and deceit was over. Nora's breath caught in her throat as her husband stood before her, his gaze piercing through her with a mix of anger and sorrow, her heart pounding in her chest, a cold dread setting in the pit of her stomach as she realised the gravity of the situation. With a voice that trembled with emotion, Jake spoke, his words carrying the weight of their shattered trust. The funeral was a test, he declared, his tone heavy with disappointment. A test of loyalty, trust and love. And you, Nora, you failed miserably. The words hung in the air like a heavy fog, enveloping Nora in a suffocating blanket of guilt and shame. She felt the eyes of the gathered mourners boring into her, their silent judgement echoing the condemnation in Jake's words. Tears welled up in Nora's eyes as she struggled to find the words to defend herself, to plead for forgiveness for the betrayal she had wrought, 
but deep down she knew that there was no excuse for her actions, no justification for the pain she had caused. As the weight of her deception bore down upon her, Nora felt a surge of remorse wash over her, her heart heavy with the knowledge of the trust she had broken and the love she had lost. And as she stood before Jake and the assembled mourners, she knew that there was no going back, no undoing the damage that had been done. With a heavy heart and a mind filled with regret, Nora prepared to face the consequences of her actions, knowing that she had betrayed the one person who had ever truly loved her and that she would spend the rest of her days paying the price for her betrayal. Tears welled up in Nora's eyes as Jake's words pierced through her arrogance like a sharp dagger. She felt the weight of her betrayal crashing down on her, the realisation of her actions hitting her like a tonne of bricks. With each word spoken by Jake, her heart sank deeper into a pit of remorse and shame. Beside her, Richard paled in shock, his face drained of colour as he too grasped the gravity of the deceit they had both been tangled in. His hands trembled as he reached out to Nora, his voice barely above a whisper as he struggled to find the words to express his guilt and remorse. N Nora, I... I didn't know, Richard stammered, his voice tinged with disbelief and regret. I never meant for any of this to happen. I'm so sorry. But Nora could only hang her head in shame, unable to meet Jake's accusing gaze as the full weight of her betrayal washed over her. She knew that there was no excuse for her actions, no justification for the pain she had caused. As she stood before Jake and the assembled mourners, she knew that she would have to face the consequences of her betrayal, no matter how painful they may be. In the aftermath of the revelation, Nora found herself standing alone amidst the wreckage of her shattered life. Her husband, wounded and betrayed, turned his back on her, his silence a deafening condemnation of her actions. She watched in silence as he walked away, his footsteps echoing in the space that had once been filled with love and trust. I trusted you, Nora, Jake's words echoed in her mind, a painful reminder of the bond they had once shared now irreparably broken by her betrayal. And you threw it all away for him. Nora's heart ached with regret as she watched Jake disappear into the distance, his figure growing smaller and smaller until he was nothing more than a distant memory. She knew that she had lost him. There was no going back from the pain and devastation she had caused. With Jake's words still echoing in her ears, and the weight of her betrayal heavy upon her shoulders, Nora turned to face Richard, hoping for some semblance of solace or understanding. But to her dismay, she found herself met with space, a stark reminder of the consequences of her actions. Richard! Nora called out, her voice trembling with desperation as she scanned the room for any sign of him. But there was no response, no trace of the man who had once been her partner in deceit. Her heart sank as she realised the extent of her loneliness, the realisation dawning upon her that she was truly alone in the aftermath of her betrayal. She had driven away the one person who had ever truly loved her, and now she was left to face the consequences of her actions on her own. As the truth of Richard's flighty nature came to light, Nora found herself grappling with the harsh reality of his betrayal. Her heart shattered by the realisation that she had been nothing more than a passing fancy in his eyes. As she picked up the pieces of her broken dreams, she vowed to never again fall prey to the wells of a man like Richard, determined to guard her heart against further pain and disappointment. Tears whirled up in Nora's eyes as she sank to her knees, the weight of her regrets crushing down upon her like a tidal wave. She had lost everything. Her husband her lover, and her dignity, all because of her selfish desires. I'm sorry, Nora whispered into the silence, her voice barely above a whisper as she pleaded for forgiveness and from the empty room. But there was no one left to hear her, no one left to offer her the absolution she so desperately sought. As she sat alone in the darkness, Nora knew that she would have to bear the burden of her regrets for the rest of her days constant reminder of the love she had lost and the price she had paid for her betrayal. 
But Nora knew that apologies were meaningless now. That there was no one doing the damage that had been done. She had betrayed the trust of the man she loved and destroyed the life they had built together. And now she was left to face the consequences of her actions. Alone. Alone amidst the solemn silence of the gravesite, Nora's facade finally shattered, revealing the vulnerable woman beneath, consumed by guilt and remorse. The weight of her actions bore down upon her shoulders like a crushing burden, leaving her feeling hollow and empty. She had thought she could outsmart fate and believe she could manipulate the situation to her advantage, but... Now she was faced with the harsh reality of her choices. The bitter taste of regret filled her mouth, choking her with its suffocating presence. Nora's tears mingled with the freshly turned earth beneath her feet. She knew that she would spend the rest of her days haunted by the consequences of her arrogance and betrayal. A prisoner of her own making. With the unravelling of Jake and Nora's tumultuous story, Richard found himself caught in the crossfire of their turmoil. Sensing the impending climax, he wasted no time in making his exit, eager to distance himself from the fallout of their betrayal and focus on his own pursuits. I've got a movie to make, Richard would declare with a casual shrug, his voice tinged with a hint of impatience as he hurriedly governed his belongings. I can't afford to get caught up in their drama. I need to stay focused on my career. As he disappeared into the shadows, Richard's mind buzzed with thoughts of his next project, his ambition driving him forward even in the midst of chaos. He'd always been a man on the move, eager to chase success wherever it may lead him, but he wasn't about to let the troubles of others derail his plans. I wish them the best, Richard would say with a dismissive wave, his words betraying a hint of indifference. But I've got my own life to live, my own dreams to chase. I can't let anyone else hold me back. And with that, Richard vanished into the night, leaving behind the wreckage of Jake and Nora's shattered romance to pursue his own ambitions with single-minded determination. With each passing moment, the weight of Nora's remorse grew heavier, dragging her down into the depths of despair. She had lost everything. Her husband, her dignity, her self-respect, and now she was left to wander through the wreckage of her shattered dreams, forever haunted by the ghosts of her past. As the darkness closed in around her, Nora realised that there would be no redemption for her, no forgiveness for the sins she had committed. She was alone, lost in a sea of regrets, condemned to spend eternity grappling with the consequences of her actions. With a heavy heart, filled with remorse, Nora mustered the courage to approach Jake, her husband, hoping against hope that she could somehow make amends for her grave mistakes, but as she reached out to him, her words choked with emotion, she found herself met with a wall of icy silence. I'm so sorry, Jake, Nora whispered, her voice trembling with regret as she pleaded for forgiveness. I know I've hurt you, but please... Give me another chance. I'll do whatever it takes to make things right. But Jake's gaze remained cold and unforgiving, his resolve unyielding as he turned away from her, his heart hardened by the betrayal he had endured. It's too late, Nora, he replied softly, his voice tinged with sadness. I can't go back to the way things were. We're through. Nora's heart shattered into a million pieces at Jake's words, the finality of his decision hitting her like a physical blow. She had hoped against hope that he would find it in his heart to forgive her, to give their marriage another chance, but now she realised that her chance for redemption had slipped through her fingers. Desperate to salvage what was left of their shattered relationship, Nora pleaded with Jake, her words filled with desperation, born out of love and regret. But no matter how hard she tried, Jake remained resolute in his decision to part ways, his heart too wounded to ever trust her again. And as Nora watched helplessly as Jake walked away from her, his back turned to her forever. She knew that she had lost the one person who had ever truly loved her, condemned to spend the rest of her days haunted by the ghost of their shattered dreams. Jake emerged from the darkness of his betrayal, and he felt like a phoenix rising from the ashes, reborn and renewed. With the unwavering support of his friends and family, 
He found the strength to heal the wounds inflicted upon his heart and soul. I'm so grateful for all of you, Jake would often say to his loved ones, his voice filled with sincerity and gratitude. You've helped me through the darkest time of my life, and I'll never forget it. With each passing day, Jake began to rebuild his life, determined to leave the pain and heartache of his past behind him. He threw himself into his work and his passions, rediscovering the joy and fulfilment that had once eluded him. As he embarked on this new chapter of his life, Jake dared to hope that he would find someone who truly loved him for who he was, someone who would cherish him as he deserved to be cherished. I'm ready to start fresh, Jake would declare with a newfound sense of optimism, his eyes shining with hope for the future. I know that the right person is out there for me, and I won't settle for anything less than true love. The dust settled and Nora found herself alone, with the weight of her mistake pressing down on her. She experienced a moment of profound clarity. The fairy tale she had been living in had chattered, leaving her face to face with the harsh realities of her choices. In the solitude of her remorse, Nora realised that she had squandered something precious, her marriage, her integrity, her sense of self. She'd allowed herself to be consumed by her daydreams, losing sight of the hard work and dedication needed to truly better her life. With a heavy heart and a mind filled with regret, Nora took stock of her failures, determined to learn from them and forge a new path forward. She made a solemn vow to herself to stop living in fantasy and start taking tangible steps towards self-improvement and redemption. Gone were the days of idle daydreaming and wishful thinking. Nora rolled up her sleeves and got to work, determined to make amends for her past mistakes and rebuild her life from the ground up. I can't change the past, but I, I can shape my future. Nora would remind herself daily, her voice filled with determination. I won't let my failures define me. I will learn from them and become a better person because of them. And as Nora embarked on her journey of self-discovery and growth, she did so with a newfound sense of purpose and resolve. She knew that the road ahead would be long and difficult. She was ready to face whatever challenges came her way, armed with the lessons of her past and a determination to do good. <laughs>